You back with black Jesus and white Jesus. There's fake news and there's real news. Here's the real news with white Jesus. And tonight in the real news. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry. We'll go. <coughs> that was just. Uh, <coughs> it's not coronavirus. Uh, I'm sorry. That was just uh, pot. Whoo, hey, how you guys doing, man? How you guys doing? This is a uh, white Jesus with the real news. Pandemic spread and sagging polls prompt Trump retreat. Now I know that CNN doesn't like Trump, but that's no reason to poke fun at a sagging poll. <laughs> Can you believe that? It's right there in the headline talking about our president's penis. Damn. Some realtors not using master to describe bedrooms and bathrooms because it brings up a problematic past. The realtors are also trying to come up with a new name for the slave quarters. They should change that, man. Right after they take out master for master bedroom, yeah. they should rename the slave quarters. I, I, I agree. I agree. Like maybe bedroom number three or something. Though. But just slave quarters, that sounds, yeah, that's that sounds a little racist. racist. Uh, parents cooperating after teen party led to COVID-19 cluster. It certainly doesn't help that the new teen TikTok trend is spitting in each other's mouths. Damn. That's what those kids are doing on TikTok, man. Damn. They, they're doing dances and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're all doing the same dance, same background music. Fucking all of them, right? And then, and then uh, if something becomes cool, it becomes cool. You know what's cool now? What? Those fucking kids spitting in each other's mouths, man. That's how I got coronavirus. Coronavirus. Next. Uh, two ISIS terrorists, dubbed the Beatles, admit involvement in the abduction of two women. This is a horrible story, and there's nothing funny about it, Black Jesus. However, being a lifelong fan of the Beatles, I am happy to see the Beatles putting out something new. What is it? It's good to see them in the news again. They're, they've joined ISIS, apparently. <laughs> the two ISIS terrorists are dubbed the Beatles. Now, how do you think uh, Paul and Ringo feel about this, man? You what? think you think Paul or Ringo would call up and be like, yo, could you not call these ISIS terrorists the Beatles? Like, yeah. when you Google us, like, we're, 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 not, we're not ISIS. We're a very, very popular band. My God. The next news story. Narcissists and psychopaths are more likely to refuse to wear masks, says new research. I, for one, think this is very dangerous, Black Jesus. I cannot stress enough to psychopaths to please wear a mask or face covering before you murder somebody and eat their eyeballs. <laughs> God damn. Dude, they should have a mask on, man. Yeah, I think so. And too. if... They can keep a six foot distance. I don't know how you murder somebody from a six foot. I mean, if you're going to eat their eyeballs. Yeah, how you going to eat their eyeballs? They should wear gloves. Yeah. Too. Those freaking psychopaths, man. Uh, in sports, the Washington Redskins have a new name the Washington football team. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that The headline is really the joke, right? But, but like, for all you laughing right now, like Black Jesus who cannot control himself, <laughs> the Washington Redskins have a new name. The Washington football team. Black Jesus. Hold on, wait. <laughs> What's the name of them? The Washington Redskins, because of Native American culture, they're changing their name, buddy. Their new name is the Washington football team. Established 1955 or whatever it was. Oh. Um, and you, well, Ellie, here's the thing: the football team is eager to eager to put on their football helmets again in their home stadium, the football stadium, and has high hopes of winning their football games, possibly even the coveted football trophy. They give that away after the football bowl. 
Dude, the the Washington football team, man. They better change that something. They, racist or not, that's a retarded name. Dude, a um, lot of police in the news here, um, especially in Seattle. Now, this headline reads, uh, Judge blocks Seattle law banning police use of pepper spray. The Seattle law banning pepper spray offers several alternatives to the police for dealing with violent and resistant folks, such as giving them a stern talking to, as well as counting to 10 very slowly. <laughs> and if they don't obey by the count of 10, giving them one more chance. Do you? <laughs> They're really pussifying these cops, man. Yeah. I Can't agree. use pepper spray. You have to give them a stern talking to? Yeah, I got a tender match. <laughs> I didn't put do not disturb on the podcast recording because I wanted to know if I got a tender match or not. I do, one. man. Fucking uh, horny skank sixty nine likes me. <laughs> nice swipe right. <laughs> Our next story: a man shot at downtown Austin protest dies from his injuries. Suspect in custody. The suspect insists, I just wanted to shoot him. I didn't know he would die from his injuries. <laughs> what? The suspect, he didn't mean to be a murderer. He, he didn't know he, he was going to die because he official, shot him. His official statement reads, I just wanted to shoot him. I didn't know he would die from his injuries. Wow. That's ridiculous, man. Hey, there's a big company, ComEd, admits to bribery charge and uh, in Illinois agrees to pay $200 million fine. When reached for comment, ComEd said it's okay. The bribery netted us $600 million. Dang. ComEd's going to be just fine, man. Because if you do the math, they have more money now. Hey, Black Jesus. What's up, Black You ever Jesus? go to Walmart? Yeah. I got a store about Walmart, man. Walmart and others will still serve customers who refuse to wear a mask despite new rules. A Walmart spokesperson, it says spokesman, but I'm going to say spokesperson. Okay. A Walmart spokesman replied that their target demographic are uneducated people who wish they were dead. What? Yeah, you don't wear a mask, man. You go into a fucking Walmart. You're coming out with... A great deals and COVID nineteen. <laughs> that's that's a two for one. You're coming out with unbelievably cheap and quality socks at a low low price, and it's also coronavirus. coronavirus. Oh, dude! Uh, restaurants too. McDonald's says no mask, no hamburgers in new ruling on face coverings. Uh, this put in order by their new senior director of safety and security, the Hamburglar. <laughs> You getting tired, man? You yawn during the Hamburglar joke? No. <laughs> Dude, face coverings, right? The Hamburglar, he wears a mask. <laughs> Plus, if he's give, not giving burgers to people who aren't wearing masks, mask. he gets more burgers, and that's good for him because he's the Hamburglar. Get it? Hamburglar? Dude, you know who runs Russia? Who? A guy named Putin. I forgot his... Wait... I forgot his first name. Vladimir Putin. And Vladimir Putin says that the Russian Navy to get hypersonic nuclear strike weapons. This just in, I just shit my pants. <laughs> I'll take care of all the cleaning and everything, man. What the hell you getting these news from, white Jesus? This Dude, is, th listen, this is the only real real new this is all real, real headlines this is real head not I'm lines not from white you. jesus go ahead white I'm jesus i'm not gonna bullshit you and and <laughs> i'm not trying to rip anything off this is completely original i've never seen anything like it on late night saturday saturday night television variety shows or anything this is like totally original i'm digging it man i got more news real news with white jesus real news with white jesus uh bugatti Bugatti is selling a $35,000 electric car for kids. 
just in case your kid is on the fence about becoming a complete douchebag and parents want to give him that little push. My brother wrote that joke. The Bugatti is, uh, I guess, we're douchebags. Damn. My brother is a great, great writer. He gave me that joke. That's what's up. Dude, shout out to your brother right now. Shout out to my brother. By the way, my brother, uh, our podcast intro music and outro music is my little brother. And his uh, song, Meet You There by Casino Medicine. It's the most famous video on YouTube. Go ahead and scream I, it right now I on YouTube. I can't believe it. On YouTube, all you do is type in Casino Medicine. And then there's a song, there's like a picture of a guy there. There's a song called Meet You There. And then you click on that. And that's my brother, man, with an awesome song and a kick-ass music video. Yeah, that guitar is crazy. Yeah. It's good to have his music book map, uh, book, book, uh, bookmarking. No, no, it's not bookmarking. It's great to have his music as bookends to the podcast. That's what's up. That's what's up. Go ahead and scream it on YouTube right now. Did I mention the Hamburglar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and you yawned. Hey, a man accused of running over a Sikh man charged with hate crime. When reached for comment, the man said, I'm not racist. I run over people all the time. <laughs> I would have run over a black man, a Jew, a white, even a Chinaman. I don't think you're supposed to say Chinaman, Chinaman. anymore. No, I apologize no, no. to the Chinaman. Um... There's more news, dude. There's more real news. Oakland protesters set fire to courthouse, smash windows. Now facing federal charges, the protesters insist that they thought it was an Apple store. <laughs> I guess because you get federal charges for busting up and setting fire to. Did they set a fire to? They set a fire to a courthouse. Damn. It's those white kids, man. Damn. It's those white kids with the blue and pink hair. Damn. Whew. In Florida, oh, we got Florida news. You know, Florida always makes Florida's got the best news. A uh, couple finds a duffel bag full of cocaine in the Florida Keys. They promptly return the duffel bag and its contents to the authorities three and a half days later. Yeah, goddamn lie. They didn't return shit. Three Not and a half days later, man. <laughs> that's a lot of time to do some of that cocaine in the duffel bag. <laughs> Dude, before they turned in the evidence, yeah, which I don't even believe that they did, because who turns over a bag of good Co cocaine? Who does that? You know, not 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 people from Florida. For, just using it for three days? Nah, dude, you set up a business, you become a coke dealer, <laughs> or you just do coke a whole lot and just have a coke phase in your life, man. Snowball party. Maybe you don't know what to do with your life and you need a cocaine phase. Just go through the coke phase. We're not. We're not. We're not promoting anything of drug use anyway so no not at all so don't take it like that don't do drugs kids. no not at all hey uh hey black jesus how you doing man i'm all right right jesus i got a new story here a rare blue lobster was fished out at an, or at an ohio red lobster a rare blue lobster fished out of an ohio red lobster what Oh, my God. The incident is being investigated as a hate crime. <laughs> it sounds like the Bloods and the Crips to me, man. A blue lobster and a and red, red lobster. lobster. Dude, that's a West Coast feud. A West Coast lobster feud. <laughs> Dude, hey, maybe we should title this episode White. What did I just say? White. I don't remember what I have said, man. We'll have to. I'll have to go back and listen to it. But it, it's the title of the podcast. Dude, uh, the, the podcast is 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 titled "Black and White Jesus." It, so what know, are you talking? You about? know, my white privilege gives me the privilege of making the title. I'm it's, sorry, man. It's I, just but, how the world works, dude. <laughs> so your white privilege could make you just change it just like that. Yep, dude. There's a hotline I can call. And there will be a whole bunch of white people here in sweaters. Can you please give us the 1-800 number to the white privilege? That's confidential. Our next news story. 
Amazon knows who is sending a Durham man rubber ducks, but they can't tell him. While unwilling to name the man, Amazon did hint that it is a serial killer. Ooh, that's fucked up, Amazon. <laughs> you can't give the guy who's getting all these rubber ducks the, the, the name of the serial killer? That sounds like some shit Apple would do. It sounds like some shit a white person would do. No. And finally, our last story. It's been a good news segment, man. Yeah. I like talking about the news. Here's a new story. U.S. man charged after entering Canada with over 200 kilograms of meth. Before they agreed to let the man go th through, Canadian officials are demanding him to say he's sorry. And if you don't know, <laughs> sorry is how you say sorry, sorry in, in Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> so this guy's not... Sorry. Not not really in trouble with Canada. They just want him to uh, apologize and say he's sorry. Uh, which uh, I think he should do, man. He could probably get out of, you know. Dude, just say you're sorry, bro. You know, every once in a while, we'll cross a border with uh, 200 units of uh, meth. You know what happens. You just got the real news with white Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 